keep on telling lies That is how we stay alive mm. So you know that I don't mind About what is wrong and Hi, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel Hi, how are you, Tiffany? I feel like I haven't seen you in ages. How have you been? How's your mom? Is your grandpa okay? I still haven't gotten that 20 bucks he owes me. And it's like literally upsetting, but like I also know that he's like going through something, like his old breakup thing. Like Lydia was such a bitch for that whole thing. So I really don't want to like, you know, be rude, but also at the same time, like 20 bucks is 20 bucks and your grandpa owes me. So can you like, just like say something? Like, don't make it obvious. Just be like, oh, hey, don't you, don't you owe her like, like ten dollars no no wait wait yeah yeah it was 20 yeah yeah just be like that you know just make it casual because i don't want to seem like i'm like needy you know thanks i really appreciate it you're such a good friend today we have my birthday vlog it's not really a reading vlog and to be honest with you tiffany most of it is b-roll <laughs> basically my best friend in the entire world samantha who also has a YouTube channel where she talks about manga called My Manga Space, came to visit me, little old me. It was her first time seeing the new apartment. So she was visiting and then my birthday was a few days after she left. I did read a few things. In case you don't know also, I'm currently in my BL era. I'm currently in my Fujoshi <laughs> era. I just want the gay content, the gay gay content. I felt a little bit bad because I'm like, people expect me to like read novels or whatever on this channel, but also at the same time, I don't feel guilty enough to actually like change. <laughs> it's like a fleeting thought. I'm like, people probably want me to read things, you know what I mean? But then <laughs> those people aren't me and I'm just gonna keep reading gay manga. <laughs> like I had a little birthday party. It was really, really fun. And then Sam, me, and one of my friends went to an anime convention. Oh, and then we also got this really, really good like hand-pulled noodle, like ramen. It was so good. Oh my God. Of course, there's gonna be clips of that. And then of course I went book shopping, like a shit ton, like a shit ton. Because every year on my birthday, I just go absolutely feral. And this year it was mostly manga, surprise, surprise. But let me just show you the things that I'm gonna talk about in this reading vlog. It's all boys love, just so you know too. So I did end up reading these two, which is Deco Boko Sugar Days and Deco Boko Bitter Sweet Days. <laughs> this is basically like a BL about childhood friends. This like cutesy dude who is like super, super tall and then his sort of like more serious, grumpy friend and like how they're like literally in love with each other and have been since they were children. And then I also read There Are Things I Cannot Tell You, which is similar in that it's about two dudes who were friends in high school and they like instantly loved each other basically. <laughs> they're adults and they don't know how to tell each other how they feel. This cover gives me feelings. Like it's just, ugh. Oh, I think it's kind of hot. Anyway, I also read this, which my friend gifted me for my birthday. And that is Yagi the Bookshop Goat. This is another BL about a goat <laughs> who works at a bookshop and his boss is a wolf. Tell me you are not instantly like, excuse me, what was that? <laughs> What'd you say? Like, it is also one of those BLs, and I don't want to like spoil anything for you, but it's one of those BLs that kind of like sneaks up on you in terms of like the sexual content. Like it's all consensual, but it's like, you'll be like reading it and then you'll turn the page and all of a sudden their dicks will be out. Like it's that kind of BL. I personally kind of love, cause I think it's kind of funny. <laughs> and then this isn't BL, but I did read it cause it came out or like I found it at the bookstore. And that is In the Clear Moonlit Dusk, volume five. Look how pretty this is. Also, ugh. Look at that, Tiffany. Are you dying? I think I'm literally dying. I'm literally dying. And then I also happened to read Killing a Stalking Volume 1, Volume 2, and Volume 3. Those are the things I read. In this vlog, there's just like a crap ton of B-roll and like just, you know, things I did. Specifically, there's a lot of like bookstore, book shopping <laughs> footage because I went book shopping a lot. Cause you know, it's my birthday. Mm. I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you like it. Also, don't forget to hit subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. It could be like a birthday present or something. I would love that. That's the only gift I want from you. And your undying, unconditional support. No matter what I do, problematic or not. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Literally the worst. Anyway, 
Jeremy, could you please, since it's my birthday, just like roll the clip. And no, it isn't my birthday. You're right, it's not my birthday anymore, but like you didn't even like literally text me or call me or anything. It was kind of rude. Like, yeah, we are colleagues and like for sure there should be a boundary, but also like if it was your birthday, I would text you. Oh, your, your birthday was last month. I, I knew that and I kind of had the same thought that you did actually. Yeah, I knew that it was your birthday, yeah. No, I think you're right actually. I think, I think it's proper to not, to not, to not do that when you're colleagues with someone, like we're colleagues. So I think you're actually right. Especially cause like, I'm like your boss or whatever. So it might, it might be weird. You're right about that, yeah. But did you like get me like a gift or anything or? No, <laughs> no, of course not. Why would you? Why would you? Also, actually, I wanted to ask you, Jeremy, before you roll the clip, which I know that you're so good at, you're so good at your job. <laughs> it's crazy how good you're at your job you are. Um, did you read the BL I sent you home with? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Okay, so you liked it. You liked it, that's nice. You had a BL moment. What do you mean? You and, you ran into Travis. You ran into Travis. You ran into Travis and you had a BL moment with Travis? Jeremy, what do you mean? What happened? Yeah. I know we're, I know we're, I, I know, but you can't, you literally can't even, you can't say that and then say, oh, we can't talk about it because we're at work. No, I'm the boss. I make the rules. Tell me about your BL experience. Ugh. Fine, fine, don't tell me. Don't tell me, no, no, it's fine, it's fine. No, it's fine. Yeah, just next time, next time, you have to tell me what happened with you and Travis because I need to know. You know that I'm in my BL era. So you can't, so like, it's kind of rude to be like, I had a BL experience, but I'm not gonna tell you what it was. Like, how dare you? Anyway, roll the clip, I guess. You'll tell me though, right? You will tell me. Cause I wanna know what it is. Are you guys dating now? What happened? Did you guys fuck? Okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. Roll the clip, roll the clip, roll, 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 roll. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Go ahead, roll the clip. This is my friend Samantha. Hi. I don't know why I feel kind of feel kind of shy. We put in an order for right stuff for their birthday sale, and we're gonna open the package. And then also we went to an anime convention today, so I wanted to show you a few things that I got as well. And then also like a few gifts I got for my birthday. I'm so excited. What could it be? Maybe it's a DVD. Maybe it's a light novel. <laughs> <laughs> you open it, it's Sasuke. <laughs> oh my god, <gasps> you ordered Sasuke in the <laughs> How could I not after that raving review? <laughs> we have volumes four and five, because I think I got all together in this order volumes four through eight, because you sold oh, me. Oh, yeah, because you already have volumes one to four. Now I have to read them. Yeah, yeah. I'm so excited for you. You should read them while you're here. I want to see your reaction then too. It's so good. It's and so good. for a second, I thought I accidentally ordered the light novel. <laughs> I, 
<laughs> La Trava. We have volume five of The Case Files of Jeweler Richard. I know, it kind of looks gay, but it doesn't seem like they're I hope like, it's that gay. gay. I wish they were gay. Here is volume two of Even Though We're Adults. Is it a Yuri? I think it's a Yuri between a married woman and her friend, oh. maybe. And then we have volume three of Happy Marriage. I've heard really good things. I've heard. The anime came out and everyone's losing their goddamn minds over it. I think it was a light novel before it became a manga. They're really expensive though, which is why I got them through right stuff. And then the last one in this little tiny box is a McCoy volume six. I've read volume one and it's super sweet and wholesome. And the couple in the beginning get together right away. And I love that. There's no slow burn with them. He kind of has Sasaki vibes. <laughs> Anyone with orange hair has Sasaki vibes. <laughs> let me bring you, let me bring you down a little bit. Is this, is this, is this okay? Are you okay? Okay, just, okay. Maybe this is too far down, actually. I think you're too I'm far. Like, I'm like, I think you're too far down. <laughs> let me just take you back You just want to, to record my... There we go. Okay, but now I'm also kind of like in the dark a little bit. Is this angle worth it? You decide, Tiffany. Watch this video, just be <laughs> Literally watch this be so boring. Mess. Watch this be so boring. <laughs> I'm so excited though for what I ordered. I've been wanting to read it ever since I heard somebody say that it was like really like horrifying, but then also really gay. <laughs> Yay! Let me, let me bring you up a little bit, Tiffany. Let me just bring this back up. Okay, there we go. That's fine. So I got, I got volume one of Killing Stalking. Look at this plastic wrap. Um, it's about a guy who's stalking this other guy because he's obsessed with him, but then he turns out to be like literally a murderer. And then I also picked up volume two. Looks pretty gay. Yeah, it looks, <laughs> it looks super, super gay. And then I got volume three, which I feel like this cover is the steamiest. Like, also can I just say, like, even though he's like a murderer, he's kind of hot. <laughs> he's, like, I know he's like, <laughs> Sam's like, please stop. <laughs> like, I know that he's like literally a murderer, but he's also kind of hot. Like, let's be honest. He, he looks scary. He looks scary, but like in like a sexy way. Like, oh my God, are you gonna, are you gonna murder me? <laughs> I'm very, very excited to read them. I apologize for the glare. I'm curious to see what you I think, wanna... cause- Have you read them? No, but Did, they, they them? sound like something that I would like. Yeah. Wait, I want to open just the first one, just to see what the... Because they're in plastic wrap, it means that they contain some good things. Hey, what's the rating? Oh, 18 Oh, these are, these are rated M for mature, so if you're less than 18, don't read this, because it's probably too scary, maybe too pornographic. Tell 14-year-old me who's reading Yowie. <laughs> <laughs> Literally same. <laughs> oh my gosh, first of all, the cover is very nice. It feels really smooth. Oh, the pages oh, are the... really nice. Oh my god. It's full color? Yeah, it's also full color. I don't want to spoil anyone. Oh. But... Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, well, I might have spoiled myself. It looks like high quality paper yeah. too. Oh. <laughs> Did you see it? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, <laughs> just, <laughs> just stop. Just stop. stop. <laughs> so we've got volume six of Sasuke, Sasaki and Miyano. Volume seven. Volume eight. Oh, and I, I love the cover for volume eight. It might be my favorite. I have very, very high hopes since <laughs> it's Jordaline's absolute and after we it. film this we're gonna make food and then we're gonna sit down and watch all of sasaki and Ma miano the anime and i'm so excited because sam's never seen it and she's she's literally gonna be blown away it's gonna be her new favorite thing guaranteed and if it's not we're not fucking friends <laughs> i've watched we've watched a couple episodes and so far it's so cute so far it's very very sweet i'm also so excited for you to read this. You should read this while you're here too, because it's so fucking good. I swear to God, you're going to literally fucking die. We have In the Clear Moonlight. Moonlit. Moonlit Dusk. Yeah, people so, on my channel have seen these before because I talk about them all the time. Also, the artwork is absolutely fucking gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's, it's really pretty. The love interest 
is literally hot. He's so fucking hot. Like, <laughs> oh, I can die. So I'm just kind of jealous. I, I know I'm like spoiling it, but I kind of, I'm jealous that you've got this because I also want to read it. I didn't know it was like metallic. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, this is your book. No, 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 no. Okay, so Sam also picked up Yakuza Bias, which is about a Yakuza boss who is uh, obsessed with K-pop idols. And so he's like, you know, a hardened criminal, but also maybe it's kind of gay. Oh, look at that. That's so pretty. I love the art style because it's not anything that I have really in my collection, I don't think. It's I feel like that is me. <laughs> I just feel like that's For me. For Sasuke and Yana. Sasuke and Yana. March comes in like a lion and I have heard so many good things about this. Is this a BL as well? I don't think it's a BL. Look how pretty. I'm gonna die. Look how cute that is. We have the rest of Even Though We're Adults. And this one's wrapped in plastic, so. <laughs> That's volume three. I really like the art style of this series. Yeah, and it's pretty. I like that the covers have that like watercolor feel. Yeah. I've heard mixed feelings about it, but I finally picked up <laughs> volumes nine and 10 of Witch Hat Atelier, which I haven't started reading yet, but I know everybody <laughs> has only good things to say about it. <laughs> but look at that. Oh, so pretty. I also like that it kind of feels like, like whimsical wizard, wizard-like-ish. And then- And then Monster. Monster. Monster, the perfect edition. I have volume two here. I they think are, I have volume one. I have volume one, that's mm. all I have. Yeah, I've only heard good things about it, and it's supposed to be a thriller. Yeah, everyone loves it. It's like a psychological thriller moment about a doctor. A family gets killed or something, and then only the children survive. Mm, and so they're trying to figure out who the yeah. killer is? Yeah, and the doctor has to operate on one of the children because he was injured. Oh. I think, something like that. I wanted to show you guys the the few things I got from the convention today. <laughs> they had some doujinshi. Uh, this is from the author of Given. It's in Japanese, so I can't understand what's going on, but- You could use um, trans El Translator. Yeah, I could just use Google, but it's still pretty. So I got that. I don't subscribe to these like specific fandoms. Like I've never watched these shows, but they're gay. <laughs> So got this one and I literally only picked this one because the cover was pretty and also it's like do you see that it's like it's reflective like, but it reminds me of the eternal edition yes I was just gonna yeah. say um I would I would show you some all right let me see if I can this find. is the this is Yuri on Ice I believe yeah this is fan fiction of Yuri on Ice it's also explicit like there are many sex scenes and there's like penises and stuff but the artwork is really really cute it, it's really well done and i really like it um i've never watched the series but maybe i will now i also picked up a bookmark and look how cute it is it's so cute look ah! and then my friend kiva very kindly or kiva and dom very kindly gave me uh some boys love manga they're like, that looks pretty gay. So this is uh, Yagi the Bookshop Goat. And like, I'm sorry, <laughs> a goat in a bookshop and it's a BL. It looks so fucking cute. Sweet. Oh, wait. oh thank you. Oh my God, teamwork. Teamwork Team makes the dream work. Look how cute it is. And then also, finally, yeah. she gave me, I didn't mean to fall in love, which I have no idea what this is about. <laughs> it's on my Amazon <laughs> wish list. It is wrapped in plastic. And it's also rated M for mature. I have no idea what this is about. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I saw it on, oh, oh. <laughs> I just, I can't even complete my sentence. I just saw it on Amazon and I was like, that seems gay. I'll add it to my wish list. It's just, a, is it just a one-off? I think so, yeah. Cause there's no, I think it's just a one shot. It's also published by Seven Seas. Anyway, I'm literally dying. It's so hot. It's very warm. So we're gonna go. Oh, oh wait, my wait. apron, my apron. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, never mind. We have one more thing to one show. One more you. thing. While shopping, I kind of impulsively bought this after seeing it on a mannequin. But <laughs> we'll insert some pictures because you won't be able to appreciate the full scope of it. But like, it's so cute. It's got like. It's an this, apron. It's, it's an apron and it has this like frilly bit here and it has a Totoro face on it. Ah! 
Yeah. I've already worn it today. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna get so much use out of this. But it's so cute. Oh, I love it. They also it. had like Sailor Moon ones. It was so nice. They and, were all really good. And they're all like uh, like custom made. Mm -hmm. So, you know, nice. And uh, the quality's there. Yeah, the quality seems really good. Bye. Bye. <laughs>
Baby, can we kill these butterflies? They live and then they die And that's the way I like it Like it I just wanna move on with my life I've loved you for a while And that's the way I like it Like it, like it All these butterflies gotta go I just gotta be on my own I've been loving you for too long All these butterflies gotta go I just gotta be on my own I've been loving you for too long Too long Move on On my own I've been loving you for too long When the sun goes up It might be the last day Of you and me You're lying next to me with heavy eyes While I shiver inside with a heavy heart I know what I've done And I'm too since I've like talked to the camera. So I feel a little bit out of the loop, out of touch, but it's my birthday today. Happy birthday to me. 
I just got home. I went to lunch with my friend and then I went book shopping with my other friend and then we also got sushi. And of course it was avocado sushi. So you know that it was fucking delicious. It was delicious. <laughs> the rest of the day, I think I might just read. And as you might know or may not know already, I'm kind of in my BL era. I'm kind of in my manga era. I haven't really read a novel since the beginning of the month, which was 20 days ago, because today is July 20th. That's my birthday. It's been a while since I actually read like a novel, but I think I'm gonna read manga, because that's the vibe. That's the vibe I'm in. And it's my birthday, and I can cry if I want to, okay, Tiffany? But I also wanted to show you the books I got from the bookstore. I did buy a few volumes, and I figured I would show you and tell you and let you, know, let you look at them if you wanted to <laughs> that's weird this this vlog uh is weird this vlog is weird i've barely spoken to you and i'm so sorry for that um also i just i haven't been keeping up with this I, when sam was visiting sam left on the 18th about two days ago when sam was visiting i intended to literally vlog the entire thing like and that did not happen. I just like, I just like wasn't in the mood. If I'm being honest with you, Tiffany, I've been kind of depressed. So that's also I think, part of it. And kind of also the reason why I kind of fell out of touch with the whole vlogging thing was like, I just like wasn't in the mood for it. And I kind of just like wanted to like avoid, avoid, avoid. But I can't do that anymore because I have to pay my bills. You know what I mean? I did purchase all manga. <laughs> and then I'm also gonna show you the books I think I'm gonna read today. First of all, the thing that I'm most excited for and the thing that I'm gonna read the moment I finish filming this, this little clip, um, and that is In the Clear Moonlit Dusk, volume five. They had volume five out, even though it's not technically being released until the 25th. And literally, when I saw it, when I saw this, I almost screamed out of excitement. I love this series so much. If you like romance and shoujo and that type of shit, like you're going to love this. I'm telling you, do you see that? Do you see how beautiful that is? Oh my God. Volume six also uh, is coming out in December. So we don't even have to wait that long. <laughs> I picked up this because I think from what I know, it's this is also like a BL series. Like it does look really, really cute. And I have the first four volumes and that is A Man and His Cat. This is volume five. So it's about this guy and his, and his cat. And that's literally it. And I think he's also gay. He might also be gay. I'm not sure. I might give this a try within the next few days just to see if it is actually BL. Cause like I said, as you may or may not know, I'm in my BL era, okay? Give me gay shit. That's it, that's all I want. I have been, also, can I just say, in the time that I haven't been vlogging, do you know what I have been doing? I have been reading manga and just watching gay Asian dramas. Like I've been watching, I've been watching BL Korean dramas. I've been watching BL Thai dramas. I've been watching Japanese BL dramas. Okay, I have just been watching dramas for, for, for weeks. Like it, I, at one point I watched three in one day from start to finish three series in one day i i have a i have a problem i have a problem tiffany okay it's 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 gone from like cute and like fun to now just being like literally a problem because i'm not doing anything else i'm just i'm obsessed with bl right now it's all i want is this angle weird this angle could be weird i watched this movie the other day called the stranger on the shore or stranger on the shore and I loved it. I loved the movie so much. And so I was like, well, I know that there, excuse me, I know, I know that there's a manga for it. I should get the manga. So I also picked up volume one of Seaside Stranger. And then I also picked up volume two of Seaside, of Seaside Stranger. I think right now there are maybe five or six volumes out for this. The movie was so cute and so fun. I'm telling you, if you have an hour to waste and you want to see gay shit, Stranger by the Shore. It's on Crunchyroll. I absolutely loved it. The last thing I bought today was there are things I cannot tell you. This is a one-shot BL. I think about roommates. I was flipping through it and there, there are a few hot scenes like i hate when you're reading like a romance and they never kiss like i can't fucking stand that if you don't have your characters kiss 
in your romance series why are we even here what are we doing thankfully they do kind of get like a little bit a little bit naughty which is what i want that's all i want i just want to see them kiss and maybe do butt stuff like that's it <laughs> It is also rated mature. Maybe for today, because I'm just gonna be at home for, for the rest of the day, just like alone. I think I'm going to read manga, like I said, and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give Killing Stalking a try. So this is volume one. Killing Stalking is a manhwa about a kid who starts stalking this guy because he, because he falls in love with him. And then he realizes that this guy is like a killer or like a murderer uh which you know sort of explains the title killing stalking the art in these is absolutely stunning and then the third book and like i mentioned earlier when sam and i were were talking the guy is kind of hot <laughs> like i know he's like a murderer i know he's like literally probably a psychopath but he's kind of hot like tell me he's not Anyway, so I think I'm gonna read those today uh, and I will keep you updated on whether I like them or not. How does that sound? I think first of all, I'm going to give In the Clear Moonlit Dusk a read before, before that. So I might like, you know, eye bleach with this and then read this. Cool, good talk. Bye. <laughs> I just read volume five of In the Clear Moon at Dusk. So cute. Can't wait for the next volume. I also read the first volume of Killing Stalking. This is not at all what I was expecting. It's so strange. <laughs> it kind of gives me like misery vibes, but if misery was just like super gay, which like I love, <laughs> I have very conflicted feelings about Sang Woo. On one hand, I'm like, kind of it's like it's kind of nice that he he really seems to like uh yoon bum but also he's like literally a sociopath but again also he's kind of hot <laughs> he's literally crazy i'm literally about to read volume two right now um so i'll update you when i finish that but i really really like it i would say that if you're into psychological horror and like serial killer horror and also you like gay shit like i would check this out i would read it give it a try you might like it rated m for mature typographic like the people are being murdered there's like nudity there's depictions of sex again people are being murdered like <laughs> i'm gonna read volume two i'm interested to see what's gonna happen next though the part where we left off i was kind of expecting it thing woo is literally crazy okay i'm gonna read this bye Hi, it's the 21st of July. It's the day after my birthday. I thought I would come on here quickly to talk about what I did last night, what I read, and then also let you know that I'm going back. <laughs> I'm going back to the bookstore, like literally right now. I'm about to call an Uber. And I thought I would take you along with me for that as well. <laughs> That's it, cause like, Yesterday, I feel I feel like I was inhibited, you know, because like for my birthday, I really like to like treat myself. I really like to like make it special for myself. And every single year, the way I do that is by going book shopping. It's what I do every single year. But let me talk to you quickly about what I read. So I did read all three volumes of Killing Stalking. I have a lot of thoughts about it. My general thoughts is that it's probably the most gruesome and weirdest BL I've ever read. I honestly don't even know what I expected. I don't know what I expected. I didn't expect it to be what it is. Um, I do like it. I do really like it. I think it's interesting. I think it's fast paced. The, the artwork and the characters and the way that they relate to each other or don't relate to each other is like really, really interesting. Um, and I would say if you're interested in it, and you don't think it's gonna be triggering for you, then I would say go for it. You know, follow your heart in that regard. I really like it. I have, a, I have like a million things to say about it, but I'm not gonna say them right here. But I also, I also read, uh, there are things I cannot tell you, and this was so fucking cute. 
and like both of the main characters were so hot which like really helps like for me at least i really need at least one of them to be like attractive and both of them were very attractive this was really really cute and like a lot sexier than i than i thought it would be it is rated m for mature so that's probably why it's sexy but i really liked it a great a great a bl but i also read deco boco sugar days this was so cute i wish that there were more spicy scenes in it to be honest because i really wanted to see it <laughs> that's embarrassing to say but i really really liked this uh, it was really really cute um i just wanted to see them do it more to be honest <laughs> there is a sequel though so i'm gonna read that i think tonight after i get home from the bookstore um but yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna call my uber i'm gonna go back to the bookstore let's do it okay this background is so nice why am i not always just like filming like this maybe because i'm not that great at vlogging i don't know um yeah let's go to the bookstore okay let's go random but that's okay i wanted to quickly do an outro and just talk briefly about the things that i read and what i thought of them and then i also i'm also going to do a little book haul of what i got from the bookstore yesterday but that part of the video is only going to be in the patreon exclusive director's cut <laughs> By the way, also with this video, there's also going to be a longer extended version of it on Patreon, including the things I got yesterday from the bookstore. So if you're interested in that, check out my Patreon. It's always linked at the very tippity tippity top of the description. Love that for you. Love that for me. Thank you. I did read Killing Stalking, like I mentioned. The more that it sat with me, the more I kind of have come to realize that I do really like it and that I being a toxic bitch ship saying woo <laughs> and bum which i know it's like literally it's not good it's not it's not a good ship to have i shouldn't i shouldn't be shipping these characters because they're not good for each other like even even a little bit i hate saying woo but he is hot and then when he does show bum some kindness some empathy some some love it's kind of like oh my god he could change like it's literally toxic <laughs> you know that he does love yoon bum you know he does you know he does and you know that yoon bum loves him and so it's hard not to ship them because like both of them on the inside of their little teeny tiny pure black hearts has feelings for the other like it's it's obvious it's just hard because it's like they're saying woo specifically is a fucking psycho like he's the worst he's like kind of protective i guess over over you and bum in a way i don't know i'm excited to continue on with the series i've thought about maybe just like looking up the scans and finishing it but i think i'm gonna wait for the official english release and just read it as they come out because i i honestly kind of feel like this is the kind of thing where like it's probably not a good idea to do what i did and just like read them back to back because it's a lot of 
it's a lot to take in. <laughs> it's not fun, like even a little bit. It's like kind of sad actually. It's very sad. So I wouldn't recommend binging yet. I don't think it's good to binge. If you're sensitive like me. <laughs> I think overall I'd give it four stars. Four stars. Um, the weirdest BL I've ever read. The weirdest. Okay, and then to move on to cuter and happier things, I did read In the Clear Moonlit Dusk. <sighs> the bitch did it again. The bitch did it again. Like, these characters, all I want to do is just see them fucking kiss. I just want to see them kiss. It's like one of the only hetero manga that I'm like really into right now. And I'm really into it. Like, it's just stunning. The art style is stunning. The characters are hot. Like... What's not to love? Also, it's got that thing where the the like male love interest is more into her than she is into them. Do you know what I mean? Like it's that kind of thing where like he's obsessed with her. Like she likes him, she loves him, but he's like literally fucking obsessed. And he would literally like burn down the world for her, that kind of energy. And I I fuck it, I eat, I eat it up. I eat that shit up with a fork, a spoon, a knife, a spork. I will, I'll take it. A beautiful little continuation. And if I'm being honest with you, Tiffany, I did go online and read the scans. <laughs> so I'm now as caught up as I could possibly be with this and I need more. Like I need, I need more yesterday. Maybe I should hire somebody to like translate these things for me. Do you think that's like reasonable? <laughs> anyway, okay, okay. I wonder how much that costs. Anyway, I also read There Are Things I Cannot Tell You and this was so cute. Also, it dealt a lot with homophobia and like coming out and like coming to terms with sexuality. Like one of the characters in particular is afraid to be gay and to like admit that he's gay because he he's come from a place where his father was like very, very judgmental and his father was like never satisfied with him. When he was a child, he heard his mom and his dad talking and his mom was like, oh my God, what if he's gay? Blah, blah. And his dad is like, that's fucking disgusting. How dare you even put that out into the universe, you dirty bitch, how dare you? <sighs> and he hears that as a kid and he is then just invalidated for his entire existence. Like he hears it as a kid and he's like, well, that was basically what I thought I was. And now I can't be that. So also can I just say the spice? <laughs> the spice. Oh my God. I, what I love and what I need really from manga, I think I mentioned this, is that I really need them to be like attractive or at least one of them to be attractive because I want to ship myself with them too, you know? And they're both so attractive. They're both so hot. And the fact that like, and so like when they're like doing it, it's just like, oh my God. <laughs> and then I did also read these two boys. Oh wait, <laughs> these two boys. These were also really, really cute. The first one, really good really cute i really enjoy the dynamic between the characters because it's so obvious that they like love each other but they like refuse each of them like refuses to be like by the way i like you you know what i mean because they're both afraid that like they're gonna ruin their friendship or whatever like that they're gonna ruin their lives but then when they when they do come together it's absolutely fucking sweet and the fact also that the the shorter guy because this guy is way taller. This is the more feminine one and he's the more masculine one. Really, he's, it's like, you know, uke seme. And I love, love the idea of a short seme king. <laughs> I love the idea of a little short top. Like this tall ass, this tall ass guy is at the bottom and his like five, four fucking boyfriend is gonna top him. It's like literally so cute. The second book, was actually kind of like sad. Like I was a little bit like bummed out about it. Um, it doesn't have it doesn't have a sad ending. I'll say that it has a happy ending. But just like, oh, the the relationship between the two of them had like grown so much, and both of them were feeling so many things, and it was just. I don't want to spoil anything, but it was really really sweet. These are really really good. If you want something wholesome, cute. This is it. Also, this also doesn't have any like non-con shit in it. These are both fully consenting, rated M manga. Super, super sweet, super cute. Really enjoyed it. And then finally, I did read Yagi the Bookshop Goat. This was surprisingly really good. <laughs> surprisingly. Listen, I expected it to not be that great because it's about a goat 
<laughs> it's literally like Beastars, but if Beastars was like really, really, really cute and is Wolf Boss, hot, literally hot, literally so fucking hot. And like, <laughs> listen, I don't want to say too much because I don't want people to be like, oh my God, you're a furry or whatever. But it was really, really cute. And like I said earlier in the intro, it was like one of those things of like, you turn the page and they're like, one guy is like jerking off the other guy. And <laughs> it's like, it's a little bit, um, it's a bit sudden, but again, there's no non-con. Everything is very much consensual. And I really liked it. It was very, very cute. Um, this is also rated M for mature. So you need to be 18 plus to read it. Cause it is, it does have some sexual scenes. That's basically what I read. Anyway, now I'm going to film the little book haul and show what I got or whatever for the patrons. But before that, let me just say goodbye to you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun for my birthday and I'm very glad that I had so much fun and that I bought so many books. <laughs> Thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful day. Oh wait, my friends, my family, my familia. Don't forget to hit subscribe because we talk about gay shit. Talk about BL. Talk about bookshop goats getting jerked off by their bosses. Thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next one. Hopefully it's soon. I'm trying, I wanna upload more. I really want to. Cause I took a little break. I took like a little vacation. I'm back now, baby. We're gonna, we're gonna do this. We're gonna fucking do it. Okay? Why am I so aggressive? <laughs> okay, bye. Thanks, bye. That is too late for us now. Why do we stay when I blame you for the things that weigh me down?